factorization and linear equations. We have already studied factorization of whole numbers in previous classes. Writing a number as the product of its factors is called factorization. Also, writing a number as the product of its prime factors is called prime factorization. In this chapter, we will learn about factors. The method of expressing a given polynomial as the product of two or more polynomials is called factorization. Two or more polynomials whose product forms the given polynomial are called the factors of the given polynomial. For example, let's find the factors of 6x square. 6x square is equal to 6 into x square is equal to 2 into 3 into x into x. Thus, all the possible factors of 6x square are 1, 2, 3, 6, x, 2x, 3x, 6x, x square, 2x square, 3x square, 6x square. Common factors of monomials. If we consider the two monomials 4xy and 8xy squared, factors of 4xy are 1, 2, 4, x, y, xy, 2x, 2y, 4x, 4y, 2xy, and 4xy. And factors of 8xy square are 1, 2, 4, 8, x, y, x, y, y square, x, y square, 2 x, 4 x, 8 x, 2 y, 4 y, 8 y, 2 y square, 4 y square, 8 y square, 2 x, y, 4 x, y, 8 x, y, 2 x, y square, 4 x, y square, and 8xy square. So if we find the common factors of the given monomials, these would be 1, 2, 4, x, y, xy, 2x, 4x, 2y, 4y, 2xy, and 4xy. So children, in this way we can find the common factor of different monomials. Now we will study and learn about factorization. As we know, the factorization is the method of finding the factors of a number and writing it as the product of factors. Similarly, we can write an algebraic expression as the product of its factors. We will learn the different methods of factorization. Factorization by taking out the common factor, we will learn this by taking an example. Factorize x square z plus x y z minus z square x. In this, we will simply take the factors which are common in all three, that is x and z. So, x square z plus x y z minus z square x is equal to x z into x plus y minus z. Also, factors of x square z plus x y z minus z square x are x z and x plus y minus z. Factorization by regrouping. Let's take an example to understand this. Factorize 3q plus 7qp plus 9 plus 21p. Look at the first two terms of the given expression. That is 3q and 7qp. We can see a common factor q. Thus we have q into 3 plus 7p. Similarly, 3 is the common factor in both 9 and 21p. So we have 3 into 3 plus 7p. Now, 3q plus 7qp plus 9 
plus 21p is equal to q into 3 plus 7p plus 3 into 3 plus 7p. Here, 3 plus 7p is common in both the terms. So we have 3 plus 7p and q plus 3. Thus, 3 plus 7p and q plus 3 are the factors of 3q plus 7qp plus 9 plus 21p. So, we can find the common factors by regrouping. Factorization using identities. The identities we have learned earlier are useful in determining the factors of a given polynomial. There are three standard identities which can be used to factorize algebraic expressions that are a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus 2ab. a minus b whole square is equal to a square plus b square minus 2ab. a square minus b square is equal to a plus b into a minus b. By using these three identities, we can factorize the different polynomials. Apart from this, there is another method of factorization, that is, factorization by splitting middle term of a trinomial. There are polynomials which are not perfect squares. In such cases, we use the method of splitting. Let us study this method by taking an example. Factorize x square plus 2x minus 15. In the expression, x square plus 2x minus 15. Coefficient of the middle term is 2. So we split 2 into 2 parts such that their sum is 2 and their product is minus 15. Now, since 5 and 3 are the factors of 15 such that 5 minus 3 is equal to 2, we will split the middle term in factors of the last term. So the obtained factor is x minus 3 into x plus 5. So children, in this chapter, we learnt about various factorization methods. Hope you have understood the chapter properly.